Hey folks, one more time on a Saturday because I am um, really enjoying my addition to my Opus collection. So I thought I would go ahead. I've shown my collection before, but um, I don't have, I mean, they have some really very cool limited edition things which I don't have, but I have some Opus. I do have a little bit, so I want to show it because I'm so happy to add um, still life to the bunch. I think where I'll start though is um, um, by saying that, you know, I got turned on to Opus, you know, years ago, but just every time I heard them, it wasn't the right time. And then in the last, oh, probably eight, ten years, as I became a Porcupine Tree fan, some other Petri friend, fan friends of mine kept saying, what do you think of Opeth, you know, and um, would play uh, Harvest, you know, was the song that started to kind of uh, catch me. And then um, I think for Blackwater Park is the album that really, I finally just hit, heard it at the right time. And it was like, it was just all over. And it was Michael Ackerfeldt's um, playing on that one Porcupine Tree album. Is it Deadwing he does uh, some work on? You know, just all that combined got me to kept coming, keep going back to the band, and I'm really glad I did. I just really love this band a lot. Um, I just have a few CDs. The um, Peace Bill, um, the booklet is, is loose, but it's like, um, got the booklet, and then it's like a CD, DVD. Still Life, I love this. One I don't have on vinyl is uh, Ghost Reveries. And this again is the uh, double. It's a good band. And then um, Watershed, the uh, limited edition version. And then the Heritage, the lenticular, because I didn't get the uh, vinyl. So when it comes to the al the albums. Um, I don't know that I have them completely in order, but um, let me do it like this. I think the first album is Orchid. And I got the uh, Back on Black reissue. This is, uh, it's worth seeing. It's a nice colored vinyl. And um, I uh, recogn recognize that uh, Michael made this when he was still a teen. So uh, really pretty cool beginnings. Really. His singing, as you know, has gotten better. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> but um, that's a beautiful uh, color um, orchid, color vinyl for that orchid. Morning rise. This is on gray vinyl. Another back on black. I just love these songs. Uh, yeah, My Arms, Your Hearse. Your Arms, My Hearse. Let's see, I think this is colored vinyl too. I like this one. This is when I'm starting to get into uh, the sound of the band. Yeah, blue vinyl. Really wonderful. Um, Back to Black do uh, wonderful pressing. It's 180 gram vinyl. Back on Black, pardon me. This is again another one of my favorites that we're listening to uh, Deliverance. You can hear it. Deliverance, this is Black, black vinyl. Is it a uh, Koch? I wonder how many different. Uh, pressings there have been of this, because I know there are some colored vinyl pressings of this. These guys are so good. I get them out of order, but uh, doesn't Damnation go? Yeah, Deliverance and Damnation, those kind of, I think of those in the same. And of course, my dog, Blackwater Park. I just love this. I've learned quite a bit of this on guitar, actually, because it just 
it's a, it's a good way to learn songs is to try to just play stuff that you really dig. And Michael Ackerfeld, I love it the way he writes. Um, then I think you know, still life goes in right in there somewhere, doesn't it? So glad to have this to the collection. Then I have Watershed. Um, my lead problem. No, I like this, but it's like I don't like the production. I don't like the way this album was produced. And Heritage, I really, really like this. like one of those records to get in the mood for, but I really like it. And the only other thing I have on vinyl is um, Opeth, live in concert again, Cool Ranch Dressing turned me on to uh, getting this as a deal. You know, three records or two albums and DVDs and stuff. Awesome. My dogs. Um, I'm going to try and go see them in May, you know. And then I got the Record Store Day uh, single, uh, Throne of Winter. And then of course, the July, Loyal Disharmonic Orchestra, conducted by the powers that be. So. You can hear the music. This band is so good. Drumming is just so important to me. 